morning, everybody. Welcome to Lit Class for Thursday. Today we're going to be doing an interval class with some strength and some cardio. Everything will be 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of recovery. Marie's joined me again today. She's going to be giving the chair options for our active adults. So if you need the chair, grab it. If you have some weights, water bottle soup cans that you want to use for the um, strength portion, grab those, keep them close by, but just out of the way so that you don't trip on them, okay? And if we are ready, let's get started. Let's take it till March. Just warming it up. Four and three. Two. Let's tap it. Bring those arms across the chest. We're going to keep it kind of low to begin with while we're warming it up. Don't worry though, we're going to get there, get that heart rate up. Let's switch it. Leg curl. Bring it back. I'm so glad we're back to the wall. Yeah. Four. Three. Two to the front. Yeah, if y'all were not aware, we opened back up yesterday. We're still going to be hanging in here and doing some virtual classes for y'all for the immediate future. So keep tuning in at 9 o'clock every morning. Three. Here's two. And tap it back behind you. It's tap. Tap. Four and three. Here's two. March it out wide. Let's tap it one more time and roll those shoulders. Get everything loosened up. And let's make it an elbow a little bit bigger. And if you feel like it, bring it to that whole arm. If you have any shoulder issues, just keep it at the shoulder or the elbow. Here's four and three. Two more. March it wide. Four, three. Let's stop those feet. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. One more in. Let it out. Let's bring those hands to the top of those thighs. Take it over to that flat back and we're going to round it up. And take it down. Take it all the way up really slow. That head's going to come up last. Let's roll those shoulders back one more time. Let's take that deep breath in. And let it out. All right, we ready to go, y'all? Are we ready, Marie? Ready. All right, we're going to start with that cardio. We're going to go up and back with the chest press. Keep those weights close by. We're going to go fast today. Here we go. It's up. Take it back. Take it up. Press those arms. Now, if you want to, you can add the little jogs and back. That's a higher option. Take it side to side. Now we're going to go to those fast lunges that we all love so much. Let's go. It's lunge. Lunge. Now you can tap it. Bring those arms up really high to get that heart rate going. If this is too much for you, you can bring it across the body. You can bring it down to the floor. You can get low, too. Take it side to side. All right, we're going up and back again. Let's go. Take it up. You can add a kick. You can add a tap. Anything you want to. If you still need it a little higher, those arms can go up. Kick it. Tap it. 
take it side to side. Those lunges. Now I'm going to do some lunges to the back for this one. Marie's going to keep them at the side. Let's go. Tap. Those arms are going up, pulling down. That's what's going to get that heart rate up there. You can add those little hops if you want it. That'll make it a little higher. Reach and pull. Take it side to side. We're going up and back. All right, I'm warming up, Marie. What about you? <laughs> Here we go. Take it up and back. Now, if you need to take those arms down, you can take them down. Don't feel like you have to keep them up there. And back. Add a kick if you want to. And a tap. And a kick. And a tap. Take it side to side. All right, back to those lunges again. This time, let's go back side to side with the lunges. Got to keep it interesting, huh, Marie? Yes. Let's go. Lunge it. Lunge it. Now, if you want it higher, you can add that hop, but you don't have to. This right here is a good medium intensity. Take it side to side. All right, we're going up and back one more time. Let's work that chest some. Use those arms. Here we go. Take it up. And back. Up. Add the kick if you want to. Add that tap back if you want to. Woo! Take it side to side. Last time for those lunges. I'm going to go to the back again. Marie's going to keep it to the side. Let's go. Lunge. Tap it. Remember, those arms reaching and pulling. Now, you can slow this down if you need to. Tap and in. Tap and in. Or you can pick it up. All right, that's the end of round one. Let's grab those weights. Our water bottles or soup cans. You don't have to have any. We're going to start with some bicep curls. Hands are relaxed. No death grip on those weights. Up for two. Here we go. It's up. Up. Take it down. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Don't let them sneak up by those ears. Up. Lift it. Down. Down. Up. Hold it halfway up. I'm going to do it, Marie. Little pulses. Active rest. We love active rest. Take it up three. Down one. It's up. 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 Bring it down. Now when you're down, make sure you're controlling it. You don't want to swing it. Let the muscle do the work. And down. Lift it up. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Control it. Up. Up. And down. Hold it halfway. Little pulses. Squeeze it. Make sure those shoulders aren't creeping up on you. Stay nice and comfortable. Up for two. And down. Bring it up. Up. Down. Down. Up. And down. Really squeeze it. Are we feeling anything yet? I can hear everybody out there saying, yeah, Missy. Hold it halfway and pulse it. This is our last active rest. This time we're going to go up for one. Bring it down for three. Here we go. Bring it up. Down. 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 Bring it up. Use that muscle. Down. Down. Control it. Down. 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 Bring it up. Up. Down. Shake it out. Bring one foot forward. Hinge at the hips slightly. Bring those elbows up. We're going to do those kickbacks. Here we go. Take it back and in. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Those elbows stay up high. 
If you can't keep those elbows up, your weight might be a little bit too heavy. You might need to drop it. Hold it back there. Hold it. Now, I want you to take those weights and I want you to flip them so that those palms are facing straight up to the ceiling. Single lifts. Lift, lower, lift, and lower. Now on this one, don't rest it on your booty. Don't bounce it off your booty. Make that weight, make that muscle, I'm sorry, do the work. I'm feeling this one. Let's shake it out a little bit. Come back to the same position. Palms to the ceiling. Weights up, hold it up. Little pulses, pulse it, pulse it. Now on this one, I want you to think lifting from an already lifted position. You're squeezing and squeezing. Keep those shoulders down, away from those ears. Relax it. Hold it up there if you can. If you need the break, take the break right here. It's burning. Here we go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Almost there, y'all. Lift and lower. Lift it, lower. Oh, boy. Lift, lower, lift. Put them down. Shake it out. Back to some cardio. Going to feel that one tomorrow. We're going to start with a ski. Now, if when you're skiing, this is a low right here. Just a little hop side to side. I'll increase it as we go along and show you some more options. Let's go. Now, you can make that movement bigger. Get that heart rate up. Those arms are pushing and pulling. If you want it higher, you can add that hop. Easy landing, just like you're skiing down a hill side to side. All right, we're jumping the rope. Low. Keep those toes on the ground. You can march it if you want to. So here's one option. Another option, toes on the ground. If you want it higher, jump that rope. Keep those hands going. You can alternate it if you want to. Side to side, back to that ski. Now for those interested, I'm gonna show you an even higher option if you want it. Here we go. So this is a medium. If you want a higher option, you're here. You're just that back and forth. Or you can be here. Take it side to side. We're jumping the rope. This is a tough one today so far, Marie. <laughs> Let's go, jump it. Either that or I've been really lazy the last week. <laughs> yeah, if you want it higher, both those feet, add that little bounce. Take it side to side. We're halfway through this one. Two more skis, two more jump ropes. Let's go. Ski, ski. Now on the ski, if you're doing this version with that little hop, make sure you're landing softly. Those knees are slightly bent. Have you ever been skiing? I have not. Side to side. True story though, the very first time my husband went skiing, broke his leg. <laughs> Jump the rope. Let's go. Woo. You can bring it up if you need it. You can alternate, you can do a couple high. Bring it down low, take it high, bring it low, side to side. We're skiing, it's our last time to ski, y'all. Here we go, 
ski. Yeah, swishing. I think this is a this is like a mogul ski or something, I think. I'm one to talk, I've never been skiing. I met my best friend Janet, who was a flying skiing instructor, right here. Side to side. She moved to Colorado, and I went there to go skiing with her. I thought I would be a natural. Jump rope! And I was not. <laughs> Y'all grab those weights. Let's work on some shoulders and a little bit of legs. All right, weights are right in front of you. Shoulders relaxed. We're going to do those upright rows. If you have rotator cuff issues, only come to right under the chest. Here you go. Bring it up and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Don't let those elbows go up over those shoulders, okay? Just to even. If you need to do one at a time, take it to one at a time. Lift, lower. Hold it up there. Pulse it. Squeeze it. Squeeze in that back. Let's go. Down. Bring it up. Down. And up. Excellent point, Marie. Just watch everything you're doing. If it hurts, don't do it. Let's rest it. Roll them out for a second. You're going to bring them up right in front of you. Your palms are going to face each other one at a time over the head. Let's go. Lift and lift. If you're standing up or even if you're sitting in the chair, make sure you have that core tight up nice and tall. If this is a contraindicated move for you, just bring it down and shrug those shoulders. Let's take it to that shrug. All right, we're gonna do those up over the head one more time. Again, you can stay right here if you want to. Here we go, lift and lower, squeeze it, squeeze it. Stay up nice and tall, core's in tight. Don't overextend that elbow on the up. All right, one weight or two. Bring those legs out wider than the hips, toes are to the corners. We're gonna do a pulley A squat. Here you go, you're going straight down and up. The difference between this and a regular squat, in a regular squat, you're sitting back in the chair. This one, you're going straight down. If you're sitting in the chair, you're gonna do what's called a clam. It's gonna work the same muscle, those inner thighs. Hold it halfway down, little pulses. Pulse, pulse, pulse. This time around, we're gonna add a calf raise if you can. Let's go, it's up and raise it. Up, lift it, up, lift it, and lift it, and lift it. Shake it out just a second. We're not gonna do active rest on everything. Bring it out one more time. Take it halfway down. Lift those heels, right and left, right left. Marie's got the option for this one. Feel those inner thighs. If you're not feeling it, go down a little further. Make sure you're up nice and tall. You don't want to bend here through the waist. Keep everything nice, tall, and tight. Hold it. Little pulses. Pulse it. One more time. Those singles. It's down. Bring it up down. Squeeze it. You're squeezing those inner thighs together on the up. Pull it up. Down and up. Almost there, y'all. Shake it out. Back to some cardio 
our last cardio. We're going to start with the pendulum. On the pendulum, side leg lift. This is your low. I'll show you the highs as we go along. Here we go. Lift. Marie's got your chair option. Now, if you want this higher, you can pick it up. Take it side to side. We're going to go to some jumping jacks. We're going to change it a little bit today. We're going to add a jab. Here we go. It's jack and jab. Jack and jab. You can go high and that front jab and jab it. Take it side to side. Back to that pendulum. Any way you want it. Let's go. Lift. Now you can bring those arms down here in the front if you need to. You don't have to go fast. You don't have to go with the beat of the music. You can be slow if you need it. Okay? Lots of options here. Side to side. Jacks with jabs. Let's go. It's jack, jab. Oh, yeah, I'm punching you. And jab. Remember, low is just a tap and a jab. Tap, jab. Side to side. We're halfway through it, y'all. Two more pendulums. Two more jacks. Let's go. Here's your pendulum. Marie has a lower option in the chair for you if you need it. This is your high. Side to side. We're jacking and jabbing. Here we go. Jack, jab. Side to side. Your last pendulum. Woohoo! Remember, higher arms, higher heart rate if you need it there. If you're fine, keep it medium to low. Here we go. This is a good medium right here. Low, right here. If you still want it high, you're here. Take it side to side. Our last jack with jabs, y'all. Punch it like you mean it this time. It's almost Friday. Jack and jab. Remember, don't hyperextend that elbow on that jab. Quick little punch. And punch it. No weights yet. You're going to bring your left foot forward, your right foot's going to come back. We're going to do some repeater knees. I want you to hinge forward just a little bit. Put that weight in the front heel. You're low. You can just be right here. Let's go. You can stay here. If you want it harder, pick it up. Up. You can put those hands on that lower back if you need a little bit of support. If not, you can pump those arms. Keep that heart rate up there. Hold it back. Pulse it. Now I'm going to change it a little bit. Marie's going to stay with the knee. I'm going to change my back leg to a curl. Here we go. Curl, curl, curl.
curl. You're feeling that leg, you're standing on. Curl it. Just like you're doing a regular leg curl. Bring that heel towards those glutes. Shake it out. Let's switch legs. Same thing. Pop it, pulse it, curl it. Here we go. Pump. Remember, you can be here if you need it. Keep that standing leg soft. Knees bent just a little bit. That's the leg you're working. Hold it back. Lunge it. Just pulse it down. Make sure that knee's not going over that toe. Let's curl it. Curl it. Curl it. Curl. with some squats. Feet shoulder width apart. Weights on those heels. Let's go. And up. Take it back. And up. If you're in the chair, you're standing up and sitting down. If you need to hold on to the side of that chair for a little help, go for it. Hold it halfway. Pulse it. Bring those weights right in front of you, right at the knees. Here we go. To the floor and then just back to the knees. The floor and back to the knees. Make sure you're sitting in that chair. You're not bending here. You're pushing that booty back to the knees. Down to the knees. Rest it. All right, two sets of our favorites. Those weights on the floor if you want them. If not, keep doing a regular squat. These are deadlifts. Let's go. You're going to squat down. You're going to pick them up. You're going to squat back down and put them on the floor and take it up. You're going to come down and put them down and up. Now, again, on this, make sure you're not bending at that waist to pick them up. Bending those knees. Sitting back in that chair. Hold it halfway. Little pulses. I'm ready for this to be over, Marie. Deadlifts, let's go. Pick them up. Put them down. Pick them up. Sit all the way back. Put them down. You're going to think of me tomorrow. And put it down. Rest it, y'all. Nice job. Grab some water if you need it. Grab a mat. If you have it, if not, you can just lay on the floor. Keep that weight or that water bottle. We're going to up the ante on the abs today. Whew. Let that heart rate come down just a little bit before you go down to that floor. I'm going to try to change the music here. That was a great bottle workout, Thank you. All right. I know I felt it. Cardio and strength. Whew. All right. If that heart rate is down a little bit, take it down to the floor. Keep that water nearby in case you need it. Grab one weight or that water bottle or that soup can. I would suggest lighter is going to be better, so probably five pounds or less with anything that you're using, okay? Those feet are going to be flat on the floor. You're just going to hold that weight right there in front of you, and we're just going to take it back and up. Here we go. It's back and up. Missy, I've been using my water bottle before. Yes. So maybe with water. Yes. 
Good point. Water bottles with water in it will even give you more weight to use. If you don't have a weight, fill your water bottle with water. Use it. Okay, we're going to do two more rounds. Now let's hold it. Halfway back. Little pulses. Pulse it. Pulse it. Pulse it. Just squeeze it. Now remember, everything I'm doing on the floor, you can do it in the chair or vice versa. Here's four, three, two, and relax it for just a second. Now we're going to get those obliques a little bit. So you're going to bring it back again. And this time we're going to twist it. We're going to bring that opposite elbow down to the floor. Let's go. Twist. Twist. Now on this, make sure you're twisting right here through the waist. You're not just turning those shoulders, okay? We want to make sure that we're getting those obliques. So twist through that waist. Three. Two, hold it to the center. We're gonna shorten that movement and speed it up. Here we go, twist. Again, make sure it's the waist that's doing the work and not the shoulders. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and sit it up. Oh, how are we doing, y'all? Are we feeling it? Yes. All right. Now we're gonna really have some fun. If you want to, you can drop the weight for this if it gets to be a little bit too much. You're gonna bring it halfway back. You're gonna bring that weight right out in front of you. All you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly bring those arms right up by those ears and then bring it down. Now, if you need to extend those legs out on the floor, that's fine. Whatever is comfortable for you. If anything hurts your back, don't do it. And down and up and down. This time let's hold it up over that head. Arms are right by those ears. Hold it. Little pulses. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, I'm feeling this one, Marie. Lift, lift. Six, five, four, three, two. Sit it up. Oh, that's a good one. I would say that we'll leave, let that be instead of planks, but I don't think so. I think we still need to do some planks. What about you, Marie? Okay, let's get those lower abs before we take it all the way down. Again, weight or no weight for this, you're going to be lifting those legs. If you have a weight, in that weight underneath the knees. If you want it harder, you just don't touch those heels down, okay? Let's go. Now again, if you don't want that weight, you're right here. Lift, lift, lift. Eight, seven, six, five. Here's four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, shake it out. All right, let's say we finish with two planks. 30 seconds each on your planks. Remember, you can do them. Um, up on your hands. You can come down to your elbows. You can be on your knees for those planks. Just make sure, nice straight line from your head down to your heels. Don't let that core sag to the floor. Don't lift that behind up, okay? Straight line. 30 seconds, and let's go. Now try not to dip that head down. That head stays nice and straight in line with everything else. Keep breathing. And rest it. One more plank and then we'll cool it down again. Hands, forearms, knees, whatever you want. Marie's giving you another option for the chair. Let's go. Keep 
keep holding it. Keep breathing. If you need to take it down to the knees, take it down to those knees and rest it. Go ahead, take it to your hands and knees. Marie's gonna do some of those circles in the chair. I'm gonna stay on the floor. Hands are under the shoulders. Knees are under those hips. You're gonna round it up. And then you're gonna take it down to that flat back. And you're gonna round it up. And take it down. And one more time, round it up. Bring it back to neutral. Curl those toes under, roll back onto those heels. Slowly extend those legs. Bring both hands to the thighs above those knees and let's slowly round it up. Your head's gonna come up last. Let's take that right leg back. Heel stays on the floor. That front knee is bent slightly. Then just lean slightly forward into that little bit of a runner's lunge there. Feel that stretch all the way down the back of that calf. Make sure to keep that back knee soft too. Don't lock it out. And round it up, shift that weight to the back foot. Come up on that opposite heel, flex it, hinge at the hips. Feel that stretch down the back of the hamstring. Again, keep that knee soft, keep all your, keep hands above the knee. Either both on the supporting or one on each leg. I'm sorry, this is the supporting. <laughs> Point that toe down, slowly round it up. Now to stretch that quad, you have a couple of options. You can come up on that back toe, push that hip forward, and then drop that knee down. Push that hip towards the wall, opposite of you to really feel it there in that quadricep. If not, you can take it, find that balance, bend that leg, grab those shoelaces, and pull it in. and release it, let's switch legs. Other leg to the back into that calf stretch, heel on the floor, hinge at the hips, keep the knee soft. Yes, knee to stretch every day. Even if you're just out walking the beach, walking the bridge every day, make sure that you're stretching. and bring it up, slide that back foot about halfway in, shift that weight to the back heel, come up on that front heel, toe is up, flex it, hinge at the hips. Marie, I don't know if we just worked out really hard or it was awfully hot in here, a combination of the two, but. <laughs> and point that toe down, round it up. Now that quad stretch, come up on the back of that toe and push it forward or bend it, grab those shoelaces and pull it in. You might find that balance is a little bit better on one side than it is the other. Just find you a spot somewhere on the wall, on the floor and concentrate on that. If you're not feeling that stretch, push that hip forward just a little bit. Up nice and tall. Keep taking those deep breaths in and out. And let's release it. Let's bring those arms up into that goal post. Reach back with the elbows, open up through that chest. Deep breaths in and out. Bring that heart rate down. And let's drop it, let's drop that right shoulder, bring that right arm across, pull in front of or behind that elbow. If you look in the mirror, you wanna make sure you see your neck. You don't want that shoulder up next to that ear. Feel it through that back. And release. 
release it, switch it to the other arm, drop that shoulder, bring it across. And keep breathing in and out. And then bring that right hand on the back, reach in front of that elbow, push it back. Try not to be right on top of that joint. Push it just till you feel that uh, stretch through the tricep. Yeah, pass yourself on the back. And then switch it to the other arm. Again, in front of that elbow instead of on top of it. And release it. Let's drop that right ear to the right shoulder. You can take that right hand on the outside of that ear and pull it down towards that shoulder if you need a deeper stretch. You can take that left palm to the floor. Oh, this feels good. And release it. Now slowly drop that head to the center and roll the opposite ear to the opposite shoulder. Again, hand on the outside of the ear, palm to the floor if you need it. And release it down to the center. Slowly lift it up. Let's roll those shoulders back. Deep breaths, rolling forward. Let's take a deep breath in. Leave those arms up there, reach it to the ceiling. And let it out. You see all of our classes are recorded? Yes, they are. One more in. And they can be found. And let it out. Yeah, if you go to the WISE Facebook page, all of the classes that we do are recorded, so you can go back and do them anytime you would like. Um, this is my shameless plug for the week. I know that y'all have missed hearing that. Beginning next week on Tuesday at 9 o'clock, we will have a dedicated active adult class. Marie and I will be leading it for the next few weeks, so all of our active adults come and join us. I'll be back here next Thursday at 9 o'clock for Lit. And y'all come check out the Y if you get a chance. Y'all have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you, Doug, our cameraman. Thank you, Doug, for filming all this. <laughs>